This is a fairly large individual of Corcus macrocarpa, the burr oak. It's one of the more interesting oak species we find in our area. In fact, we often don't find it in our area. Uh, I'm at a calcareous bluff forest in Alabama, and it's about as far south as we find them. This is uh, over just uh, near Livingston, Alabama, near Demopolis, near West Alabama, University of West Alabama. It's a very interesting species, produces an enormous fruit. I'm going to look for those here in a second, but I doubt we'll find them. They just get gobbled up pretty quickly by wildlife. The leaves are fairly unique. We'll reach up there and snag one of those here in just a second. Here are some leaves for Corcus macrocarpa. As you can see, let me get my hand in there for scale. Some of the largest oak leaves that we're going to have in the southern Gulf Gulf Coastal Plain. Uh, superficially, you look at that, it's, it's clearly in that white oak group. Uh, you can see some, some post oak perhaps features in some of those square or blunt lateral lobes. Maybe some, some white oak features in the undulating lobes near the tip. But the whole thing together has, has a, it's pretty unique uh, gestalt that makes it a burr oak. When we look at the bark of a bur oak, even though it's in that white oak family, we don't really see that flaky platiness that we normally see. We do see pieces of bark that are, that are coming off, uh, but it comes off in more of, of chunks than in, than in plates and flakes like in a, our other white oak groups, such as Quercus lyrata, Quercus alba, Quercus stilata, and so forth. 